How do I stop thinking about my ex since it will take many months to regain financial and physical fitness? Well, it typically takes most people after a long-term relationship ends. It's something that's intense emotionally, about a year and a half to get over it to where the emotional charge is gone. And so the time's got to pass. And nothing is better for your attitude than living your life, doing fun things with whether it's at work or in your social life. If you're having fun, you're going to be smiling and you meet a girl that just takes your breath away and it's hotter than your ex. It's like your attitude will completely change in an instant and you'll forget about her and so you want to be open to it because as a man you always want to focus on your outcome your mission your purpose in life and if you want to have a family a girlfriend whatever it happens to be you got to focus on that and if somebody doesn't want you anymore you never try to keep somebody who doesn't want to keep you and so you got to find somebody who's excited to be with you who when you ask her out on a date she's like hell yeah i'd love to go out with you that'd be a blast I was hoping you would ask me out. Oh. That's what you want to hear. You don't want to just like, eh, well. You want somebody that's excited to be with you, that would jump fences to be with you, not somebody that's like, eh, well, I don't know, maybe I'll think about it. You're kind of nice. <laughs> You're a nice guy. But, <laughs> I just think of you as a friend. I'm just going to chime in right here. Chime in. First of all, a year and a half <laughs> is way too long to be wasting on somebody that you need to get over with. So you need to nip that shit in the butt quickly. <laughs> quickly. There is no quickly. reason to be wasting a year and a half. You need to take some sage from your leftover turkey at Thanksgiving, wrap it up in turkey string, and go ahead and light that fire and go through all the pants, all the shoes, all the shirts, everything, and just say, Jesus, take the wheel <laughs> and burn it. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. And don't ever... Make eye contact with that person ever again. And I'm telling you what, it works. Both from experience. And the best revenge is moving on. Yes, and that's showing part them of that moving you can on, burning the stage. Yeah. Success a is the best revenge. A year and a half is way too long to be even thinking about that person that puts you through massive turmoil, which I am <laughs> know all about. You got a few t-shirts? Oh, I've got I have a whole football jersey shitload of them. No, you cannot wait. And as you get older, you cannot waste any more time. Goodbye. Sayonara. Uh-uh. Three months is even too long. Get up and start moving and start working out, eating right, and just focusing out and doing things and keep yourself going. Because if you lay around in bed and cry all the time, you're just life is too short. Wasting, wasting, wasting time. You're going to turn into that dust. That's going to go on the mantle next to the picture. Just saying. All right, so tell him that. Where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Question is, is this dude, like, did he uh, break up with her or did she break up with she him? She clearly broke up with him oh, and yeah. he's in distraught. Um, and I, how old is he, too? Is he, like, 21 or something? Yeah. You know, the older you get. No, I, and I know people that are in their 30s that are, like, completely, like... Yeah, like just please he's not the all best that. thing is Move a new on. girl and just talking to new girls it doesn't you don't even have to date him just talking to a pretty girl mm -hmm. is gonna make you feel a hell of a lot better and go not oh, if you wow. can't get out of bed well yeah. that's why I'm, you got to participate There's you got to participate in your own rescue. but that's when you need a friend like me who goes get out of your house i'm coming to pick you up get dressed put a little makeup on and let's go because if not they're gonna lay in bed and i'm talking professionals doctors, everything. Get up. I'm coming to get you. Boom, boom, boom. Get dressed, this and that. Guess what? They just met the future boyfriend of their life at a Super Bowl party that they didn't even want to get up and get out of bed to go to. Yep. And now they're with the best person that they ever met. And they didn't way. want to do anything because they were crying over spilt milk of some crappy person who wasn't, you know, oh, gosh. No, and also this is like their way of getting reminded like, hey, I could have anyone I want. Literally, they could step into like a bar or something and someone could easily like check them out or compliment them or hit on them. That's when you know you could have anybody you want. And you people get should get that reminder. First. Yeah. Let's just get out of bed and take a shower and make yourself look. And brush yeah. your teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Yeah. And a little mascara goes a long way, people. Yeah.
Mascara and lip gloss for the ladies. Oh, hey, man. I don't no care if you go in a 7-Eleven, which gross. I don't do. Go to Publix. Mm. Mascara, lip gloss. Don't ever go anywhere without any kind of anything because you just never know who you're going to run into. Mm-hmm. That's true.